Coast Guard has always said that they were a strong supporter in mental health, diversity and inclusion. Yet, you know, we're still in this position. I want to talk about soldiers who served their country and now are being forced to pay back some of their salary. Didn't have any issues up until recently uh, when I was discharged and, and have the uh, subsequent $13,000 bill. Unbelievable. Talk about adding insult to injury. Those military service manager, made uh, members were fired over the vaccine mandate. They didn't want to get it. Now being forced to pay back their original recruiting bonuses. What a joke. Let me tell you something. I was in the Navy. And I know what I signed up for. Outkick founder Clay Travis is here. So now you don't need the vaccine, but those people who stood up and said, I don't want it for religious reasons or whatever, health reasons, now they want, they're kicked out and they got to give back their bonus. Quite a few vaccinations are required before you even go. Clay, does that make sense to you? No, it's indefensible. And uh, every member of the House of uh, Representatives in the Republican Party right now should be outraged. But just like in George Washington's army, Vaccinations were a requirement. It's literally been a requirement for this country's army since before it was a republic. The next step is certainly we can't demand that people repay their bonuses when they were forced to leave the military. It was not their choice at all. That is indefensible. But the next step here beyond a shadow of a doubt is Every single military member who was discharged for refusing to get this COVID shot should be rehired with back pay uh, and have any uh, strikes yeah. against their service removed from their record. And they should get an apology from the United States government for anyone trying to force them to get a COVID shot that they do not need. Soldiers take an oath and they have to abide by it. And part of that oath says that they have to follow the orders of the officers above them and follow all orders of the commander in chief. These assholes didn't do that, which means they got to pay back their sign on bonus because they did not finish the deal. They did not complete the contract. They're supposed to be for there for six years and they're only there for three or four, whatever it is. You got to pay back the money that you did not earn. Well, 15,000 short, National Guard 7,500 short, Navy bent 10% of the recruiting goal, the Marines met 30% of its goal, and yet we kicked them out. It makes absolutely no sense. You sign up to be absolutely under control by your commanding officers and the officers above him or her. And if you don't do that, you get drummed out of the damn army. Now let's talk about how that somehow pertains to poor pussy ass Aaron Rodgers. I want to tap into your sports mind for uh, your sports mind for a second, but still stay with the COVID theme. Aaron Rodgers got immu uh, immunized, but didn't get the shot famously, yeah. and he says the whole perception of him in the league and the country changed. Listen. There's heroes and villains in, in sports and entertainment. And I think because of my stance on COVID uh, and maybe some other things, I've been cast as the villain, especially the last few years. I know you are a prick, but dude, it's just a little prick. Man the fuck up, do some man shit right now, Push down from deep inside where, you know, you're soft like a woman and pretend to be a dude. Go get your fucking shot. This woke culture wants to be offended by everything. You just go online and find something you don't agree with. I'm offended. How could you possibly say that? Yeah. You sit here today and bitch, whine, and moan why people are being mean to you. Maybe you don't know how to do man shit. Maybe you don't have any man shit. Just a big, dumb guy who's really, really good at running and throwing a ball. He's not a villain, unless he's on Twitter. Not many people think he's a villain, or am I wrong? Well, I, I think there are some people who consider him a villain. Pick up that same arm 
and shove it up your ass. Fuck you, Aaron Rodgers. You're a pussy. I just think they look smarter and smarter, and time is going to vindicate him right. in a big way and make him a hero, not a villain. Aaron Rodgers is a pussy. Like and subscribe. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy. I will say this for whatever it's worth. Um, Betty White once said that she never understood this thing known as penis envy. She said that, if anything, you should envy the vagina. Those things can take a pounding.